jump on and share with you how I am planning for 2018 and what I'm using and what I'm getting up to. Um, I've kind of been spending the last few days working it out with myself exactly what I'm going to be doing um, and come up with a system that works really well for me. So I just wanted to share it with you. So obviously I go to work every day and I don't want loads to carry. So I'm carrying at the moment these, which is fine. So I've got this pencil case, which came in the January um, Daisy kit. Um, planner add-on kit. It's got a little notebook in that I just use for kind of scribbly notes um, and it's not really planning. I've looked, ripped pages out and things there um, just for little notes and then I've got some of the some pens and things as well but there's not much in there to be honest. So that's what I carry around in terms of a pencil case and then I use one of the bags that the Daisy Dories come in just to keep my traveller's notebook nice and clean in my handbag because as much as I adore this and I know I've shown it you on quite a few videos, so sorry if you're getting fed up with it. I absolutely love it. Oh, sorry, I'm knocking the camera. Uh, but it's white, so I'm a bit worried that I'm going to make it dirty quite quick. So I just keep it in one of the bags. So this is my traveller's notebook and the notebook cover is from Freckled Fawn. And then I just wanted to show you what inserts I'm using and how I'm planning, because I've got four going on in here. So I'll just take that off. Um, I'm sure you're all aware that by now that I use the Coco Daisy standard size Dory inserts. I'll just take that off. Um, for my monthly planning. So each month I fill one of these in for, I use the front section for my weekly planning, which this is the end of the month, so I've not used that yet. So I use that for my weekly planning. I use my meal planning in there. I use my memory keeping and I keep photographs in there. And at the back I fill my diary in. Um, so that's each month. So each month I end up with one of those. And then I wanted some way of forward planning. So I've created some inserts my, of my own um, that I'm using in here. So I've got three inserts in here. This first one I've done as a monthly overview. So I've already written, there you go, there's a blank one. So I'll take it out actually and then you can see. Okay, so it's just a standard traveller's notebook that I've just stitched and I just did this as a principal and I'm actually going to be launching an Etsy shop this year, which is exciting and I will do a whole video all about that. Um, but I'm going to include some principles and downloads as well. So I'm going to have this one and this is a, a month at a glance uh, traveller's notebook size insert but it actually fits two years in because it's literally just got the month at a glance in. Like I said, I've got my monthly um, Daisy Dory coming, so I don't really need more than this. I just need to be able to put some notes in for future meetings and things. So I'm using this, and like I said, it's a full two-year one. And then, so you get all the way to the 2019 end, and then you've got some note pages at the back as well. So I'm using this, and what I'm doing is that each month, so you can see this is obviously January, I'm using the um, washi and things that come in the kit, this kit, just to decorate it. I like to try and use up all my stickers and die cuts in my main dory, so I'm not using those. I'm just using some of the extra washi and extra post-it notes because there's always some of those left. Just so that I know which, kind of at a glance, which dory this goes with, if that makes sense. So if I decorate each one, so like I said, just a little strip around the edge. And it just gives me somewhere to jot in birthdays and meetings and paydays and all that sort of stuff that I just need to know at a glance. So I'm using that one as well. And then I've created two more um, just that are things that I kind of personally need. So I've got this one and this one. And these, I will do a, um, a tutorial because it's very simple just to print them off. Um, I just stitch them together. I chose a, a cover, so I'm using craft paper that's patterned. And this is out of the 12 by 12 paper pad. So you can see all three of them match, they're all out of that pad. And then I just stitch them, so it's dead quick and easy. If you think it'll be useful, I'll do a tutorial on how I make my traveler's notebook inserts. But I've, like I said, I've got a month at a glance one. This one is, I'm gonna flick to the middle because this is, Oh no, this is my daily chores one. Sorry, I'm getting the two middle up. So I've just created this one as a way that I wanted to track kind of daily habits. And obviously this is for me personally. So I've just created this on the computer um, and it's the things I want to track. And I'm thinking of making these available in my Etsy shop, but I think I'd have to do each section of this as a separate insert because I don't think anyone will want this same mix, if that makes sense. So for example, my I'll, it'll make more sense as I go through. So I've got my January tracker and I've got these daily trackers. So it's things like drinking enough water, doing my daily chores, making sure the dressing room's tidy, read 10 pages of my book. It's all like personal things that I want to achieve each day, my exercise, my YouTube, all that sort of stuff's in there um, and be asleep by 10, just so I can tick off each day as it's done. Um, and then I have a chores list, so every day which room I want to be tidy in, what's my daily list, my weekly list, and then some notes of kind of projects that need to be done around the house. So on my daily kind of have you done today's chores, I know which, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing each day to get everything done. I'm rubbish with chores, I usually leave Chris to do it, which is rubbish, so that I'm going to give it a go. Um, and then I've got a budget planner as well and two pages of expenses because I want to kind of keep track of what I'm spending this year. So I've got two pages for that just in case it runs over. 
And then we're saving for honeymoon at the moment. So I've got this savings kind of tracker so I can, every time we sell something or make a little bit extra to put in the pot, I can jot in there what it is. And then by the end I can add it all up. And I've got two of those. Um, and then I've got an exercise and fitness log as well. So I can track my yoga and then some challenges that I want to do. So sit-ups, push-ups, squats, and then I have a, um, what's it called? Uh, I can't even remember now, pedometer thing <laughs> for my daily steps. And then my weight as well, I want to lose a bit of weight this year. So I want to track that and my measurements and my daily walks and things. So I've got a page for that. Then I had a kind of spare page. So I've done books and magazines that I'm reading, TV that I'm watching and films, because that's something I really enjoy. And then I've got my Instagram planner. So I can plan what I'm going to post each day, what challenges I'm taking part in, collaborations, projects, and then a tracker as well to make sure that I did actually... The, the, the planner and the tracker never usually add up. They don't, <laughs> don't always stick to the plans, things pop up. So that's that as well. And then as I said, I'm kind of launching my Etsy shop. So I've got just some bubbles that I can put notes and ideas and product ideas in and come up with some ideas in there. And then I'll have a tracker for products that I've listed and then any sales. And that's it. So then it goes through February. So exactly the same page as again, February. And then, so it's a two monthly insert and then I'll have to print another one at the end of those two months so I'm thinking of making each of these an insert so kind of for example an Etsy insert um, an Instagram insert you know all separate your exercise and fitness insert because I don't think anyone will want this exact same setup that I've got I'm sure there's pages in there that you think oh that might work for me and plenty that don't so I think I'm going to do that um, so that's my little kind of daily tracker one and then this last one that I've created for myself is just YouTube so my YouTube is kind of my main passion, really. So I had a whole insert about that. And then, you know, my Instagram and all, Etsy and all the other, other bits that I do want to track, um, but don't need a full book, I've put in this one. So this one's got my Instagram in. And again, I'm thinking of making this one available um, on Etsy. So it's got my YouTube planner, all my video ideas, any notes, um, video types, challenges, collaborations that I'm in, and then statistics at the end of each month as well, and kind of what worked, what didn't, any notes, my top videos, all that type of stuff. Um, so there's two pages per month, if that makes sense. So January's got a planner and then statistics. And then February's got a planner and statistics. And it takes you all the way through. So that takes you through to the end of the year, December 2018. So that's a yearly one. So that and my month at a glance will stay in there all year. This one will be every two months. I'll need to print a new one. So that is how I'm planning this year. So hopefully, and obviously my daisy dory, which I'd never get rid of because it's beautiful. <laughs> so I hope that's given you some ideas. Anyway, guys, I, like I said, I will do um, a video explaining my Etsy and what I'm up to. And if you think that the tutorials on these would be handy, then let me know and I'll do those for you as well. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.